Got him to the center line. Now bring it forward. Oh. Full power. Heels are on the floor so I don't touch the brakes. Just following the center line. I'm only using the rudder. We're up to 40. We're going to take off around 60, 65. There's 50. He's back just a little bit. Alright, there it comes. All right, pull her back. Let's go flying. There you go. <laughs> forward now. Remember how we said to get forward a little bit? Trims off a little bit. All right. <laughs> there you awesome. go. See? Awesome. Oh, wait. Forward just a little bit. So you want to be able to see the horizon, so push the nose forward just a little bit. Once you clear all the trees, that's about the right picture you want right there. Yeah. You're still climbing, you're still 85, we're going up at 700 feet a minute, that's because you don't weigh anything. Alright, so right even with the road, now give me a turn to the right, back to the road. So, again, leave with a little bit of rudder, there you go, that's perfect, just like that, hold that much, that's all you need, don't need more bank in that. And you'll feel it, you'll see the nose start to drop a little bit. That's a little bit of back pressure. About like that. Hello? See, I was going down, but that's okay. Alright, so now you're perfectly coordinated turn. We get back across the road, we, our wings should be parallel to the road. A little bit more to the right. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, now level your wings out. We're going to cross the road right here. Look down and see the road we're crossing. Uh -huh. Yeah, your wings are completely squared across that. Yep. Okay. Now we cross the road. Now give me one to the left. You're holding your altitude perfectly. Actually, your climbing just smidgen. We're coming back across. See the road down there? Keep on coming to you hit even with the road. Now level your wings. That's it. That's called S turns across the road. There's three maneuvers you have to learn. You just did one of them. Four. See how hard that was? <laughs> of course, we'll do it lower where you can see the road better, but still, that's that's what we're doing. You're just going to turn to the right this time. Okay. Wing gets under your wing. There you go. Now give me a right turn and try to stay about this distance from that while staying around 1,800 feet. Just kind of like look here, see what your picture is. As long as you get the same picture, then you're not going to be going up and down. It feels like it's coming in too close and you just ease your turn up a little bit. It feels like it's going too far away, you make it a little bit steeper. Good. Good on altitude. Alright, turn straight north for me. Turn to north. Okay. And now we're parallel to the road. We're going to stop our turn. Okay, now we're at 90 degrees. Right. This is called base leg. Bring the power back because we need to go a little bit higher than we need to be. And we turn. We want to make sure we don't turn past final. Turn we want to end up being about on the center line of the runway when we come out. Good, all the flaps. Road traffic, Scout 773, final, 23 Monroe, full stop. And we should be about 70 miles an hour, and there we are. About 70 miles an hour. And we get that picture up front, see the picture? Yeah. So we're just getting, you can kind of follow along lightly, just don't grab, no, no, put your hands on there, but just, okay. you don't, don't, just don't grab hold. Right. Alright, so you can see that... Flying. If you got it right, when you take it off, it'll be flying about 70 miles an hour. Got a little bit. I pull the power back because we're a little bit high. Now we're about about where we need to be. And we're going to find a spot. We're going to pick a spot where I want to land. And then I'm going to keep my eyes on that spot. And then when I get close to the ground, I'm going to shift my gaze all the way to the trees at the other end of the runway. Okay. What's your spot on this runway? In this case, I'm looking for about halfway between the two, three, and those big white marks. And... It, it, you know, it kind of depends on winds, kind of depends upon what kind of load you got, 
in this case, I, I would like to touch down between the two three and the white marks there. If I see, if I look the spot and it's and I've got a think about a bug on my windshield and that bug's moving up, it means I'm coming up short on the spot and I'll give it more power. I'm not going to give it more power to make it go faster. I'm going to use pitch to keep the speed. So I'm running about 65, which is good. I'm, I'm short final, so I'm just letting it come on in. Not doing things except trying to keep it centered on the runway. Traffic not available. Traffic not available. Thank you, Dale. Smidgen of power here. What the wind's going to see. The wind kind of pushed us over this way, so I'm bringing it back over. Bringing the power back. Now we got the runway made. I don't really care where we land. Not a short field. And now, now I'm looking at the trees and the other in their way. I'm just kind of, and I'm trying to hold it off as long as I can. Back. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm back. A little bit more. Wait. Wait a little more. Wait. Oh, you're like back further than I thought. You don't want to lose. Well, I, excuse me. I don't lose sight of the trees. You may. <laughs> just because you're, you know, just a, <laughs> a smidgen shorter.